As a television show, the RVers has an ability to magnify the different components of this global trend to better understand its growing interest. So far, the greatest confirmation of the allure this movement has comes from the sincere and personal testimonials given by those who have seized the moment. And this time, it's my turn. I'm Anthony Nally. I'm the creator, producer, and one of the hosts of the RVers. This isn't my first rodeo. I've done television for a little over a decade now. We've had some pretty good success with another TV show called The Aviators, which over the course of a decade has become the world's most popular aviation TV series. Through this industry, I've been able to showcase my passions on a considerable scale, from my performance as a pilot to performing with my rock band, Wicked Truth. And although my title as an RVer might seem like a recent development, the desire for this way of life actually began much earlier. I've wanted to RV since I was a kid. There was a Saturday morning uh, sort of adventure show of a bunch of explorers going around in a mobile science lab. The show was called Arc 2 and uh, it, it wasn't an RV per se that they were tooling around in, but it was an RV to me. And uh, I would do two things with old refrigerator boxes or, or uh, washer and dryer boxes. I would either cut holes in them and then draw a panel and make them an airplane and I would pretend to fly them, or I would make it Arc 2, which to me was an RV, a really cool, funky RV. And really, I've always had the two passions and I, I pursued aviation, but I, tried to pursue RVing, no kidding, a couple of times over the many years. And we uh, would go to a, an RV trade show or an RV exhibit or an RV dealer and look at one RV, then another, then another, then another. And then after an hour or two of looking at all different RVs, we would kind of sit back and say, okay, well, let's digest some of the information we've just taken in and then revisit it, and a day would go by, and a week, and a month, and a year, and then a decade would go by. And we let that happen a couple of times. A couple of decades went by wanting to do something and then not doing it. And I mean, that's so not who I am. If I want to do something, I'd jump in up to here. I mean, that's how I do things. So finally, we were seeing a lot of North America filming for the aviators. But at the same time, we wouldn't be seeing any of it because we would fly to a destination, film, turn around, fly back. We'd see a lot of airports. We wouldn't see a lot of places. We wouldn't experience anything. And we thought we'd change that. My wife, Lisa, and I, who also produces the RVers and, and the aviators, we thought, well, we're spending a lot of time away from home, but we're not actually doing anything. We're not achieving something other than work and travel. So we thought we'd get the RV and take longer to get to these places that we need to go to, but also stay longer once we're there and actually get to finally experience them. And we're doing that. Now, after five years of full-timing and several RVs later, Lisa, myself, and our two amazing dogs have finally been able to enjoy the beauty that lies in between each destination. We've found what works for us, but the choice of how you incorporate this freedom is entirely yours. I understand that there are people whose situation isn't really conducive to RVing the way we do it, but there's no wrong way to do it. And if you want to RV, part-timing is not a problem. Weekending is not a problem. Going on a week-long trip during your vacation time is not a problem. You can snowbird, you can go for long periods, short periods, there's lots of ways to do it. It's, it can be enriching to you, it is, and it will be enriching to you no matter how you do it. I don't have a whole lot of regrets in life, but I think I learned to fly too late in life, and I'm just glad that I finally did. And I started RVing too late in life, and I'm glad that I finally did. And uh, there's no looking back, it's, it's unbelievable. The RVers began as a way of answering questions about life on the road. But true understanding can't really be realized through any one episode. So if you've ever only just thought about how RVing can change your life, then my question is, what are you waiting for?